What's going on boys, my name is Sid and today I'm going to be going into the Porsche Green Flash Edition in the Open Days Summit. Now, the first summit that this thing came out in was a very long time ago. It was, again, Open Days. I want to say this thing has come back before as well. It definitely has because it's not the rarest summit car in the game or the second or the... I th I, yeah, I think it came back like, I want to say like US Speed Tour time, something like that. We definitely got it back because they were rerunning like every Porsche, like the Wasp, this thing. And now we got this thing back again because, of course, they're going in order. And what is the next order, actually? Because also, this is the final week of the season. So hopefully tomorrow, from when this video goes up, tomorrow I'm going to be streaming. The same time as a video normally comes out, I'm going to be live streaming uh, the Summer Showcase. And hopefully there we find out whether there is going to be a new season or not but so stick around for that but yeah hopefully there's a new season if not we've still got two months till the crew motorfest so i assume the summit will still run because there's coming soon summit so what are the next two i believe it's the power track edition and the edition one bugatti veyron i think i think that is it i believe it goes veyron edition one then um Power Track Edition, which, to be fair, Power Track Edition will be nice because that's one of the three vehicles that I don't own. And they're all around the same time period because there was a time period where I wasn't able to play the game. It's actually crazy because I went through so many phases of not playing the Crew 2. Like, I've got 5,000 hours in this game over five years, right? 1,000 hours a year, which is, oh my god, oh god, god. Uh, but that's considering the fact that when the game first came out, I, I, I went through like, I'd play it for like a month and then I'd go play every other game in existence, right? Not touch it for months and months. So the fact that I've only missed three Summit cars in that entire time, I would like to say is decently impressive. Uh, I also got the, to be fair, I did get the, the, the Red Fury. I got that on a second run because I'm a fraud. And of course that thing's come out three times now. Next we're going to get the Power Track and then I think it's like... It's it's and then and then it's and then it's some of them. I don't remember. But let's pick up the rewards for last summit. My live stream got me to do them yesterday, so tune into my live streams. I'm live every Friday, Sunday, Tuesday. If I miss a day, I make up for it. Um, so yeah, check out the live streams. Obviously, we don't know anything going on here. Check them out. And like I was gonna say before that, just before that, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. I was talking about something. I was talking about how I don't I don't remember. Let's do Big Bend Escape, I guess. Oh, I don't like escapes. <laughs> Okay, I've looked it up and I found the correct way to go. I think we're using the Chiron 300 Plus instead of using, of course, the, 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 the normal escape vehicle, which is the... I know what it's called. It's the... It's the... It's the Regera is what it is. We're going from a weird angle because we need to make it to a highway that is just off of the big mini-map. So let's head up here. Who's jumping around? A... Uh, Someone with the name 9999. I, it's impressive that I've gone into a rock. Uh, that I've actually fully forgotten what I was talking about a second ago. Our new season, hopefully, right? Like, Summer Showcase. Remember, the Summer Showcase, that's tomorrow. The same time as a video normally. Tune into my live streams, side note. But yeah, same time as a video. I'm going to be streaming the Summer Showcase tomorrow. Have I missed it twice? <laughs> okay, let me just go from closer, okay? Because I don't think I'm going to manage this. And there we go. And then we just kind of like beeline it to the, uh, to this road, which leads to a highway. I'm not using my muddy set. I do have a muddy set. Maybe I should have used that. Again, I'm not sure whether to use the Regera and a muddy set because this eventually goes to be on a highway like this. God, you know what? I'm going to miss the crew too. I hope there's escapes in Crew Motor Fest, man. I'm going to miss the crew too. Just doing that right there. Like the, the trying to keep control of this car. And the, the Chiron 300 Plus is going to be in the Crew Motor Fest. So that'll be cool, I guess. God, it's, it's, it, it'll, it'll be sad. It's sad, man. I'm going to miss the crew too. God. Oh, no. Summit videos are normally like chill videos. So I'm here like, oh, damn. I'm gonna miss this game, man. Uh, do I go left here or I don't know. I don't think I could manage going left. I, I think I'm just gonna go straight. Sure. Okay, straight angles left a bit. Where are we? What, like, furthest south? Uh, sorry, never east, straight east. Like, heading up to New York with this road, I think. Somewhere like that. 
I've not done this escape in a summit before, which is uh, kind of cool, I guess. Really weird turn there, though. I recognize that turn. I believe we're... We should be heading up to New York with this, uh, this road. Bit of live Crew 2 GeoGuessr. Even GeoGuessr, right? I can't even do GeoGuessr on, uh, Crew Motorfest. I could at the start, maybe. But, like, I'm gonna... If it's a small enough of a map, I'm gonna know the whole map within the first little while anyway. Okay, where do we go here? Um. Um. Uh. Well, can't do much about that. <laughs> okay, there's probably a different route for something somewhere. Oh, well, though, you know. Oh, well. Uh, as long as that gets us, like, 120, I'll take 120, honestly. I mean, I'll take that even more, so... If you did really want to know, the parts I was using was, uh, these. Shion 300 Plus, the best hypercar in the game. Uh, sorted. Sorted, sorted, sorted. What do we got next? We have a speed trap. Simple. Um... Uh, uh, um... Why... Why do I look like... Everyone back in like 2019 taking photo ops. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> right, let's uh, let's obviously hop into a drag car. There we go. Scroll all the way to drag. And, uh, this car, this parts. There we go. Sort it, sort it, sort it. In here, grab up our car. There's a lot of people here. Some people are using Alpha GP cars, which is interesting. I mean, it's your last week to get a free Alpha GP car. An Alfre GP, just just so you're aware, your final week to get that free Alpha GP car, and there we go. That's got to be good enough, right? God, this game doesn't look terrible. I mean, it looks bad compared to Motorfest, but like, it doesn't look terrible half the time. I don't mind this. Also, I got a bendy mic on, by the way. It's quite cool. It's, uh, it's on like a. It's a bendy mic arm. Look, I, I already went into it on stream. It's a really good business decision. Okay, it's a bendy mic arm, top tier. Uh, so with the low altitude now. I'm really looking forward to the Summer Showcase. I am very much looking forward to the Summer Showcase. We're already in the right plane. Uh, let's do this. Let's show off the parts, I guess. I don't really show off parts that much. And I know there's low altitude. The Summer Showcase is something I'm incredibly looking forward to because it's got Motorfest-related stuff. It's got Crew 2-related stuff. And, by the way, if you didn't know, the live stream for the Summer Showcase has already began. Like, they've, they've made... Well, it's, like, the premiere. Okay, how am I gonna... Okay, I guess I go above that bridge. Here we go. Let's and switch over. There we are. Uh, oh, we could have gone in that little gap in the bridge, I guess. This one I can make. This one I can make. This one I can make. Ah! I told you. I told you I can make it. We're getting collection import and, quote, new details on the crew, too. So, they haven't said season nine, but look, I... I, I, I realized as soon as there was two months till... Crew Butterfest when they announced the release date. That's when it was solidified. I started doubting already, though. Okay, there we go. There was a chance Motorfest released mid-year instead of late year. And in that case, when I made my video being like, yeah, um, USB Tour Cities and whatever is going to be the last update of the game. Oh, all force vehicle now. So parts literally don't matter. Uh, by the way, free car, because you don't have to buy a single car to do any of this. You can just get the skills done, and then these. I mean, obviously, you have to be decent at the skills. You're not just going to get given a car. It's one of the... It's a skill-based free car, right? Cool way of going about it. Let's do this. Red Bull. Whoa, this is quite cool. Whoa. I, I mean, let's get ahead of everyone. There we go. And then it's just a race. I like this angle for F1 cars. There you go. I definitely could have made that a lot smoother. Swinging it in instead of going that tight. There we are. And made that very satisfyingly. Okay. I mean, because it's an open day summit, it kind of is just play. I mean, I can show you guys the perfect way, like the perfect routes and stuff. And I guess just be like, whoa, look, look how good I'm driving. Whoa. But that's one lap. Let me try and make this turn better this time. And here we go. Okay, I, I thought I would understeer off-road, so I didn't go... Okay, yeah, I definitely could have done a bit better there. But making this one is rather satisfying. I mean, I often enjoy playing cars with uh, no parts on them, because obviously that's what this Open Days is. Open Days, because it, it's all forced vehicle, as far as I'm aware, none of them actually have parts on them. I quite enjoy that. Often I will, if I'm cruising or if I'm doing a race to actually, like, like the endurance races, I do those with no parts on them. Oh, there you go. That's what I was talking about. I'll do endurance races with no parts on them. Because they're, they're enjoyable, you know? They're, they're enjoyable. 
There we go, making that turn good. And again, you don't have to buy a single car for this summit. So make sure you do this summit because you literally, there's no point in not doing this summit. It's lit, you, it's, ah, you get everything for free. You get given all the cars, okay? Just be good. Top 11,000 players on PlayStation. It can't be that hard. It can't. If 11,000 people are getting it, some of you better. Right, uh, 133. Sorted. Oh, also, there's a bunch of rewards, right? Like, you get 45,000. You, you get almost a grand, 100, uh, 100 grand in crew credits. Not crew credits, sorry, bucks. You get 30 motor pass stars. You get a vanity item, right? A free vanity item. Everything here is free. Some free powerboat parts, some free hypercar parts. I mean, we're going to be doing this on Rookie 2 Icon for sure. Like, absolutely, I'm doing this on Rookie, rookie? rookie 2 Icon 1000. That's going to be enjoyable. Oh, what is that? F12 TDF? Yeah, street. So, F12 TDF, kind of cool. We're going to be getting a summit car on Rookie 2 Icon 1000, finally. Uh, as long as we can nail the skills, I guess. Ew. Oh, it's this race. Okay. Event uh, Hurricane, move out the way. Faster. Almost called it an Aventador again. No! No! Oh, no. Oh, no. Also, this thing is terrible without parts on it. No. Oh, no. Oh, this bit, right? That's supposed to be a wall ride. Bad. I mean, uh, I guess the, the end of the lap is a, is a kind of a weird one. So I'll, I'll, I'll go through this one to show that at least. It's a very, very quick race. It's a race people will argue is good for money because of how quick it is, but it's it doesn't compare to Harlem West, not directly. And of course, we're in a very slow car here. This is impressively slow. Like, I knew these cars were slow without parts on them, but this is... God, I feel like I'm driving through sludge. Ew. Uh, yep, like I said, very, very quick um, and bad. There we go. Sorted. Uh, 124,000 points, too. We are chilling. Now, rally raid event. Again, force vehicle. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, bad. it's all sorted. Oh, and it's this one as well. Oh, no way. By the way, I mean, rally raid. I, I don't know Come if you on, know this. This just made it. me think because I, I was in first person on this car. I was like, what am I looking at? Rally raid is a weird thing, IRL. It's nowhere near, like, um, it's nowhere near what... The Crew 2's rally raid is. It's like you have to go from a, a one spot to a different spot, yes. But it's over the span of like a couple days or something. And like you, you have to like camp there. You have to stop. You have to eat. You have to sleep. I think like it's it's like a it's like a big thing. I don't know. This is this is all Josh Lear information. So like Josh, my mate Josh is the one who's, who's, who's claimed all of this. But yeah, rally raid in real life is, a, is an interesting thing. So, I mean, I assume what that is on the on the screen there is like what directions? I guess I don't know. Let's get from one thing to another thing, and it's it's a uh, I don't know. I've never seen Rally Raid in real life, so it's quite a cool. It's quite a, it's kind of cool that uh, both Rally Raid and Rally Cross work so well because they were just dirt and raid cars back in um, the Crew One. So the fact that raid cars fit so easily into Rally Raid is quite nice. But then again, this isn't exactly where Rally Raid is, but it's like, yeah, no, it's fine to be fair. Oh, wrong way. Yep, okay, this way. This is quite a nice bike to drive, though. I'm actually quite enjoying this. What is it, a KTM? This is a nice bike to drive. I, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with this. Also, I imagine, like, when the Crew 2 was first being made, I imagine all these companies were so confused when they were like, hey, so we'd like one of your boat licenses, and, uh, hmm, could we have, I don't know, a rally raid bike, please? No, don't, no, yeah, 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 yeah. This is the game that is a sequel to Crew 1. Yes, yes, this is the game that's a sequel to Crew 1. Yep, yep. Yeah, Hovercraft, you heard us right. Like, can't imagine, can't imagine it made much sense. But you know what? It's meant that we have this cool, very, very cool, big old mix of all these different motorsports. And now we've got the Crew 3 coming about with a mix of many motorsports. Which we're hearing more info about at the 29th, so make sure you're there. And there we go. Sorted. That can't be terrible. That has to be like a... Like, that, that's fine. Look, that's fine. I can't imagine all of these are going to be that bad. Because I don't know what I even got in the last one. Was it like 120? Uh, I completely skipped it there. But uh, what did we get for that? We got a total of 133. Yeah, 120 for 133. Look, it really... Oh, to me, it really can't be that hard. Now let's drive this thing. Here we go. And, oh, is this a bad race? Is it like South Trip? Is it South Trip or like... South Trip or what is it, Big Land? It's not Big Land. I don't think it's Big Land. It's South Trip is what it looks like. 
it's a really, really boring event. So it's R2 Simulator. I mean, uh, don't shoot wide on this turn here, but like I doubt you're even able to in a car this slow, right? Because we're not using parts. Yeah, like I'd be, I'd be baffled if you managed to. Oh no, it is Big Land. Yes, of course it's Big Land. It's uh, it's Big Land because it's got this bit right here. The, the funny prank right where every single PvP player to this day will absolutely overshoot and go wide like that, but much more comically wider. Other than that, the rest of it's R2 Simulator. God, there is really nothing exciting about this event. I'm already like, I'm 75% in and there's like, it's just, yep, I, I don't think, I actually don't think I've let off R2 once, like even slightly. I genuinely, I haven't broke, I haven't let off R2 once, this has just been R2, and then like, colors stimulate brain, tell brain go left, so I go left, like, I, it's, oh, okay, yes, there we go, uh, now we get to the end. And there we go. And now, powerboat. Tell me we're in a good powerboat, please. What powerboat race? Uber Dam. That's good. Give me Frosha. Uber Dam with the Frosha. Proto Offshore Mark II. The crew. I thought we were boys. Crew. I thought we were boys like that. You know, I said Uber Dam. You said Uber Dam. I was like, oh, Uber Dam. And then, you know, I said Frosha. And then you were supposed to be like, oh, Frosha. Oh. Proto Mark 2. I'll Mark 2 you in a minute. Crew 2. Ah, who do you think you are? Okay, nice. That's incredibly annoying. Okay, yep. Nice. Thank you. Right. Didn't know these boats just died, considering I'm constantly stuck in their wake. There we go. <laughs> right. Let's finish this damn race. Uh, very simple race. We're going way too slow, which is really annoying. But uh, there's a few things. Basically, that route that I took at the beginning, you want to make sure to take that route You've got over the here. Lead. Don't give it up. Thank you, hero. Uh, and this bit, you can cut through this. It's just a quicker route, right? Marginally. When you get to that dam, the Uber dam, you want to lean downward so you fall faster. And then make sure to pull back up, of course. Make sure your pull-up game isn't weak. There you go. And down. And then pull up. Okay. Ow. We were actually going that slow that we hit the dam. <laughs> Damn. Here you cut through, like, also you want to go left there, and then here you cut through this. And then that's literally it. There you go, there's the powerboat race. This is going to be a very, very quick summit, as far as everything past the skills is concerned. Because now, I believe we're onto the final event, no? Are we not onto the final event? Are we about to get a, like, uh, are we about to get a Green Flash Edition for free? There you go. One, two, nine. And then we have uh, uh, hypercar in street. Can't be bad. Oh, the Devo. Okay, okay. I mean, that's a, that's a start. And we are in a race that I know. What is it like? Big Bend, Big Bend Observatory. One of those. You know what? I used to do Crew Two Event Geoguessa, like you just this. off of the, the like starting shot. Oh, that's an idea, you know. Uh, crew 2 GeoGuessr, but it's just done based off of the, the starting shot. That's actually a shout. Unironically, a shout. Because uh, I reckon I could. I reckon I genuinely, genuinely could. This has to be Big Bend or Big Bend Observatory. I know it for a fact. I, If I had to pick, I would go with Big Bend. Bend Observatory instead of just Big Bend. Yeah, I guess we won't know till the end of the race, but oh, Jesus, why is this thing so slidey? Please, the crew two, please. Give me new hypercar handling from Motorfest. Ah, I want to drive the Revolto again, please. Crew Motorfest, let me drive the Revolto. Ah, okay. Uh, there we go. There you go. Okay, I'm trying to get the hang of how shaky this car is, man. Let me actually do it on third person. I think that genuinely might be the better shout. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'd say slightly better. God, it's so slidey. Since when was the Devo this slidey? Yeah, there we go. I mean, sure, sorted. Um, there we go. And the final event of the summit. Thank you to popular members. A special thank you to famous members. And an insane, insane thank you to star members. Danimal the Manimal, Grim Pepper, 
and Mystic Ghost and an insane, insane top of the top thank you to Icon members uh, Badat Games 02 and Void. We got 1-3-1 that puts us cemented into platinum, I imagine. Uh, there we go. Yep, 56. Oh, Big Bend Observatory. Look at that. Guessing events from... I've unplugged my headset by mistake. Guessing events from the starting, like, animation. That's an idea. If only for a YouTube short, right? Like, that's absolutely an idea. But on that note, I will see you boys in the next one. Thank you to... I already thanked all the members. Um, that's going to be about it for me, boys. Oh, look, wait, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's about it for me in a bit.